achieved a lot in very short duration of time. Uh, all the best for your presentation. Thank you so much. And thank you everyone, those who have joined. Over to you, Harish ji. You need to unmute. Uh, can, can you can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Yes, oh, okay. Okay. Sorry for that. Bartika ma'am, thank you so much for those uh, uh, kind words. I'm really grateful to you. Thank you very much. And um, I, I especially want to thank Dr. Ratnaswamy sir, Suresh, Bartika ma'am and all the Midna family members for giving me this opportunity to be a part of Midna family. And I'm very happy and very excited to share about my self-discovery 3.0. Self-discovery 3.0 is a journey in the path of Midna. Uh, it's a very exciting excitement for me. It's a big excitement and a great journey for me. Uh, Self-discovery is a question to ask, who am I? First of all, what is my role here? Why have I come here? And what is that I'm doing? This is the first question that all of us have. Each one of us are trying to find out. In the process of journey of life, at any junction of life, everybody has a few questions. We are always in a search. We are trying to investigate or inquire something within ourselves. At one point or the other, we ask, who am I? And who is God? Where is God? And what is the relationship between me, God, and the world? The Ishwara, Jiva, and Jagat. These are the three important questions that each one of us ask in our journey of life. We are all unique and have our own special place in the puzzle of this universe. But until we figure out who we really are, the real question is, how do we really pursue in this life? So in the journey of life, the whole journey is a self-discovery. We try to find out who we are, what is our roles and responsibilities, and what is the real purpose of life? As I started traveling with Midna, my journey began in 2018. The first thing that I could discover was my own genetic brain profile. And my UID, as you can see here, is very clearly indicated here. C3, 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 D3, A2, A2, C3, A3, and A2, A2. I could understand, first of all, about my own self about my energy levels and about my MBTI. This helped me to rediscover and get an answer to my own self that why am I introverted? Why am I intuitive? Why am I thinking and why am I judging? It could also help me realize my potentials because my execution and my thoughts show very good energy levels, whereas my temporal and occipital energies are not to that extent, comparatively to that extent, they are not up to the mark. But still I found myself as a left brainer, 
with moderate thinking of neurolinguistic speed having understood all this one by one step by step i started working on my own self my multiple intelligence also helped me to have a very clear clarity why am i able to use good good word power my self esteem my connectivity with people and where i need to improve upon my body skills or maybe the body smartness the picture smartness i could i could really start working on really which are the areas that i could really start working on there are some areas of improvement but i started working with my strengths as you can all see here my emotional quotient is a little higher than my iq i really could connect to this very well and this is where i could connect to people connect to children or adolescents or whomever i started working this was the first advantage which i started working on of course there is an area for improvement in my adversity quotient and creativity quotient i never looked upon that as a negative mark or a weakness but i started working to try to see where i can add value to myself and improve myself this is the first step towards my self discovery so this is how my own self discovery my own genetic brain profile report helped me to find a deeper self or or, or rediscover myself in a better way and started using my strengths i always remember a prayer in life which my uncle taught me god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change the courage to change the things i can and the wisdom to know the difference this is a very big prayer for me in life and every day i remember this and there's another prayer which say my gurudev swami chinmayananda said this what you are is god's gift to you but what you do with what you have is your gift to god ultimately it is what we turn around our life and try to make contributions from our side and change and transform the world around us these two important things play a very important role in my life i first of all want to dedicate all my successes and all my achievements to my noble parents as you can see my father is around close to 80 and my mother is around 70 i have uh, indicated their uid codes also and you can see many of the qualities that i have have been derived from my parents of course i am a little more closely attached to my mother but i could see that hard working dedication loving committed punctual service all these are features of my father where you can see even in all his lobes but my mother is a little different incidentally my mother has a capital x2 in her right frontal so i could very clearly connect from where i come from and i express all my grat all my successes and i did i owe all my successes to the nobility of my parents swami chinmayananda pujya gurudev was a great person who brought about a lot of inspiration motivation in me i met pujya gurudev in 1993 january in bangalore and that was a turning point in my life a lot of things started changing in me and he brought about a big inspiration and motivation for me in life of course very recently i visited siddhabari i want to indicate all my inspiration is lord hanuman ji from whom i derive lot of strength buddhir balam yasho dhairyam nirbhayatvam arogatam ajadhyam vakpatutvam cha hanumat smaranat bhave without the strength and the blessings of hanuman ji we cannot achieve anything significant in life this is my very hard core belief i also want to sh show you all my son vasishta who is 10 years now and he is doing very well in fifth standard he is a state level swimmer 
and i am very proud of him my journey from my school days till then i, I want to give a very brief gist of what i did i did my schooling in 1992 i completed my sslc in presidency school bangalore i learned veena under shrimati mc ramamani and dr d balakrishna who is the son of late doraswami ayengar i completed my mechanical engineering with uh, uh, ms ramaya college corporate experience spanned to close to 22 years working in triveni engineering tvs motor robert bosch td power systems aditya auto products and cisco instruments presently i am working for a small company in kormangala as a business development support i also attribute my great significant achievement as chinmaya balavihar sevak from 2001 for close to 20 plus years i also was associated with art of living as a volunteer for close to 8 plus years and i did about quite a few meditation courses in art of living reiki healing was done in 2012 and 13 two years i had the fortune of spending time in europe lived in stuttgart germany when i was deputed through bosch i learned sound healing in 2019 and got certified as a sound healing uh, with sound healing therapist i also went through past life regression therapy a 10 day residential course in bangalore under dr ramchandra guruji my language skills are mother tongue being telugu born and brought up in karnataka kannada english because i studied in a very good school i also picked up skills about german and did three levels of sanskrit through samskrita bharati pravesha parichaya and shiksha all this turned out to be an added advantage for me in connecting to people connecting to children and all this incidentally in 2020 i registered for bed and completed bed with 8.5 cgpa in 2023 i also did nlp practitioner course and public speaking course with dr doris recently completed prasanna counseling center short term counseling course and i'm very proud to say that i'm a smart life coach i owe a lot of gratitude and thanks to midna family for giving me this great journey to contribute to myself and to transform the people around me i would want to quickly bring your attention to the statistics of the gbp reports that i turned around till date as on date under ledger i have completed about 120 scans total gbps were around 140 numbers because in 2018 i had done about 20 uh, reports with capital x are 32 in numbers reports with small x are 34 in numbers the reports done for children 18 plus is close to 50 adult reports are 15 numbers and children and teenagers are 90 i was very happy that i got the privilege to do the Uh, gbp for two visually challenged people and one of them is already there in our meeting today uh, one is mr kumar and other one is radha of course kumar will speak to us the youngest child that i did was 2.5 years and the eldest uh, gbp client was 8 years i touched parts of different parts of bangalore mysore goa hosur madurai kanchipuram goa gurgaon udupi and one child was from beijing china one child from two children from sydney australia and also from tirunelveli this is the range of clients i covered as on date till till date i am also very happy to share that very recently in august 22 2022 completed the nlp practitioner uh, certification and professional public speaking certification from dr doris this is another feather in my cap where i could do a certification course from prasanna counseling center 
This is associated with the Hindu Seva Pratishthana, where they are doing free voluntary service uh, of counseling to a wide range of people in Bangalore. We have close to six or seven centers, and potentially I could also be one of the counselor in one of the centers in near future. So this is a certification about my B.Ed. where I got 8.86 CGPA. I'm very happy to share this with all Midna family members because Midna family members are very motivating and very supporting in all uh, the achievements that I do. So quickly coming to the GBP study, I would want to discuss sample cases of three of five numbers uh, for SD 3.0. Decoding, counseling, guidance, and nurturing are main sections where I am trying to focus my areas of work. Of course, I want to give my more attention and uh, time span on guidance and nurturing. In fact, I chose this as my optional subject in my beard also. And I tried to see where I can learn more and try to spend more, gaining more knowledge on this and become an expert in this, trying to become an expert in the area of genetic brain profile. So let's go case by case. I have chosen five or six cases. Um, let's see each case one by one. The first genetic brain profile in case study is of Jishnu Sheshadri. He's my Balvihar student. I'm very proud of him. Very recently, he got achieved, uh, he achieved uh, uh, status as one of the fastest Bhagavad Gita chanting child from all over India. The Bhagavad Gita second chapter has 72 shlokas and he was able to chant all the 72 shlokas in just 9 minutes, 68 seconds and I think about 46 milliseconds. So Jishnu also is there with us today. So most likely he will address us and share us little more details about it. What I could see in Jishnu was, Jishnu is a very, very dynamic and very proactive child. In fact, I can call him a child prodigy. I got connected to Jishnu through my Balavihar class in 2020. When I did his GPP, I could find out that there is something very unique in his frontal. He has a C3X there. Very, very sharp and clear thinking, able to analyze and respond to things very fast. He's very, very agile and proactive. That could be, that could, we could see that in his body smartness. Yes, of course, IQ and uh, IQ and EQ, there is a mismatch, it appears, but then he's also very, very creative. Jishnu likes mathematics a lot, and we could understand that he's 40% cognitive and 60% effective. Very clearly, he is an extrovert, not an introvert, very highly intuitive, a thinking child and able to perceive things very well. He's an ENTP in his MBTI. What I could understand was Jishnu is very, very quick in grasping, which we could see from his the prefrontal lobes show high cognitive behavior. At the same time, he's very, very soft natured and very, very quick in grasping. Very recently, the greatest achievement that I could openly declare about Jishnu was he has learned all the 700 shlokas of Bhagavad Gita and he is now ready to chant all the shlokas in front of our Bharati Tirtha Swami and Vidushekar Swamiji of Sringeri. So I'm very proud that I have such a wonderful child in my Balaviha. So studying his GBP also helped and helped me to inspire other children and nurture him well. Of course, his mother is doing a great job in supporting him and trying to see that he can achieve much more in life. Let's move on to the next case. The next case is Kumar M, who is a visually uh, challenged person. I can call him that he is blessed with an inner vision. In fact, I don't even call him as visually uh, impaired. I, I call these people as blessed with inner vision. 
Kumar is very good in music, which was evidently seen from his multiple intelligence. You can see that his music skills are very high. Of course, his IQ is beyond the mark. His EQ is also very good. He is highly an introvert and a sensory person. The small x present in the frontal right D three x and C three x in the temporal very clearly tells us that. Kumar is definitely a very unique thinker, out of box thinker. Kumar is very soft spoken, very clear in his communication, and able to really make big achievements today. Because in spite of his home hometown being very far from Bangalore, today he lives in Bangalore, stays all alone. and then he is uh, supporting his uh, family and his brother who is who stays away he stays in a pg or somewhere and he is working in bangalore i am very proud of uh, kumar uh, and i could help him understand his genetic brain profile of course kumar will also share his feedback at the end of this session we could also see that his energy levels are very high i could try to help him that there are some areas of improvement where he could really improve his self esteem and his people connectivity and this would help him to achieve bigger things in life there were some inhibitions in him when i could help him guide those things he was very very happy and this could help uh, uh, help him to know his areas for improvement he was very thankful to me we move on to the next case Sharan Guru Nayana, age twelve years, and Siri Brahmani are from the same family. What we could understand was there was a capital X found in this child, the Sharan Guru Nayana. Both these children are actually uh, from the same family, but you know they are cousins. But one of the child is in Mysore, and this was the first time that it could really. I, I it was it was an achievement for me that you know. Uh, we could somehow get this scan i could not travel to mysore but could get the scans done when we studied the fingerprints and the gbps of these children we could find that each of this child is very very uh, unique in their uh, in their skills and talents the mbti of sharan guru nayana shows that she is an introvert intuitive thinking and judging but at the same time the capital x in her frontal right indicated that she is definitely a different from the other siblings and though she is apparently very very soft very very quiet and uh, you know very diplomatic in her uh, presentation we could see her that her out of box thinking and her uh, unique thinking made her something very unique which the parents were astonished to learn after doing the gbp these inputs from genetic brain profile reports when shared with parents of sharan guru nayana and uh, of siri brahmani the parents were astonished because i had not even seen them sitting here in bangalore we could get the scans done at mysore the parents were really very surprised and close to six or seven children from the same family got their gbps done and they are so thankful and so uh, filled with gratitude after learning about their children the first thing is the parents are able to do a very customized parenting and they are able to do a genuine parenting after understanding their real nature in fact they were not able to understand why sometimes my child behaves like this siri brahmani though she is very small in age it was found that she is an extrovert intuitive but very sensitive child highly sensitive with adaptiveness only 26% so comparing the reports with each other from the same family helped the parents 
to try to get a deeper insight into the profile and the personality of their children and this is giving a better understanding for them and the parents are full of gratitude and vidya sagar and mr kirtinath um, uh, somiyajulu are there today in our session i think likely they will also share their valuable feedback at the end of this session the next profile i would want to talk about is about daksh daksh is about 10 years old what i could notice in daksh was he was a very very naughty and very restless child i would always he was in my balviar and not even 5 minutes he can sit quietly i was always annoyed i could never control him and incidentally i could also not even understand why this child is so restless and this uh, things but when we studied his genetic brain profile i found that this child is highly effective but at the same time he also has unique capital x1 in both his frontal left and frontal right daksh is a very very talented boy and he is able to grasp things very quickly and his unique way of presenting things he has won lot of competitions in our balavihar uh, programs and uh, once we understood his profile his parents could really uh, interpret why he was doing this and you know the 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 mode of parenting changed in his father and the mother they could they could understand his nature and try to see that they should try to give him the best kind of parenting and also understand his capabilities and try to give him a very valuable education today's education is should not be restricted only to the academic uh, uh, profile of academic curriculum with all the nurturing and the inputs that i could share daksh parents are very thankful and they are now focusing on the overall development and multi sided development because daksh is a multidisciplinary learner his adaptiveness is also very good he has a1 in all his lobes except we found that in the frontal there is one capital x1 and x1 we could do a deep understanding of his profile and give a very clear interpretation and this was very very helpful in nurturing the child in the right direction at the right time his parents were very thankful to me that they at very early age they came to know about this and most likely daksh is also present today in our session gautami m is another girl 17 years they came all the way from udupi the girl has completed second year and trying to get into a professional course she was totally confused and utterly uh, you know she was not very very clear whether she should go into the uh, medicine field or into the engineering field a clear clarity about her profile and also understanding that her adaptiveness is very good and she is also having a capital x1 x1 in her frontal thoughts the mother was very very happy to understand this and you know she is a very soft natured girl there is apart from this in her temporal you can also see one c1 small x which says that she is definitely a very soft spoken and soft natured girl but sometimes there are so many hidden feelings or hidden thoughts which she does not even open even to her own parents though this child is an extrovert a sensory as well as quite an intellectual child her iq is also quite good but at the same time certain feelings even the parents could not even sense and uh, interpret so the proper nurturing and counseling which we we could impart could really help the parents understand incidentally her father is physically challenged he can't hear both the ears the mother was really very thankful and she was very happy after we could do the gbp and give her a very good guidance and Uh, tips for her future gautami is now trying to get into medicine 
in this year and the ct counseling is still under progress so most likely in the end of this month we will come to know about her results i wish her all the good success in her career the last profile i want to share is about kartik varma kartik is about 26 years a young youth from mysore and incidentally he happens to be my distant nephew what i could understand from kartik was a very very soft natured highly effective child his uh, effective lobes are up to the up to 90% he is found effective and we could see cognitive 10% he is also working in the area of banking and commerce and uh, understanding his profile his frontal thoughts frontal right has a capital x1 he is definitely an out of box thinker i have found that he is always a go getter and trying to do something very different for the family though the father is un, uh, unlettered the mother is supporting him in a very big way so having understood his profile kartik is able to do phenomenally great in his career and his achievements have doubled now very soon they are trying to uh, see if he can take up higher opportunities abroad uh, and i wish kartik all the good success in his career understanding his profile he was very thankful to me and expressed his gratitude and he was surprised and he could not even uh, believe that just using fingerprints you could find out find out so many intricate details about an individual so this were the five cases which i want to wanted to share about uh, five or six cases about genetic brain profile these were all very special reports with capital x so i am very happy that i could share these reports here in this forum today all i believe that is count your life not by the birthdays but by the noble acts of kindness and love you have performed as your worship for the lord so this is the message that i take it as a part of my life the main area of my work i prefer to work in nurturing and guiding the children and parents in the right direction my gurudev said that children are not vessels to be filled in but lamps to be lit this is a great message that i have been carrying forward and this is a learning that i share with all the parents and all the counselors or thing we need not try to inculcate new things in children what we have to do is we have to bring out the best which is already there in him and we have to light the lamp which is which is a part of their inner personality chinmaya bala vihar the sanskrit classes educational trips and learning forums that i conduct the training for chanting competitions and various competitions are the real areas of nurturing that i plan to focus in the coming days of course gbp is a very big support for me using gbp i am trying to help lot of children lot of parents understand the potential and the inner strengths of the children and this is helping them nurture the children in the right way in the right direction way back in 2018 and 19 we had balavihar classes in some remote areas of bangalore this is hebagodi bomasandra where i used to have close to 100 plus children in my balavihar i am very proud that i am connected to balavihar in a very big way this is the small work that we conduct every sunday we have about we meet about one hour either offline as well as online in a few classes and try to see where we can understand the intricate talents and the skills of children and based on their each child's strength i try to motivate the child in their own skills and uh, attitudes 
and try to bring out the best in them. 2020 and 21 was very challenging for us because we had to conduct the classes, most of them online. But at the end of 21, we slowly shifted to offline classes and we started to meet children personally. What started with just two children in 2022 has reached to about 40 plus children today. And we have many children attending the Balavihar classes and they are getting benefited in a very, very different way, in a big way. Many parents are very thankful and they give me a lot of blessings and they're very happy. And even the children are coming up with a lot of multiple ideas and, and you know, they are able to do uh, cross deployment. When the other child is doing this, why cannot I do? This is the attitude in each child and each child wants to bring out the best in himself or herself. So this is a small contribution that I would want to offer this to my, to society. And of course, Midna is helping me achieve this in a very big way. This was about in 2020, we had close to 70 plus children connecting from different cities of India. And also a few children used to join from Stuttgart, Germany and Beijing, China. And this was a great privilege. And uh, presently, two children are joining the online classes from Sydney, from Australia. A lot of children are getting be benefited by Bali Vihar. I pursue and I encourage all the parents to make their children participate in Chinmaya Balavihar or any Balavihar activities which will help them nurture and nourish the children in a big way. Yoga and sound healing is also a part of our Balavihar classes where this helps them to nurture their uh, potentials in a very unique way. We also have some informal get-togethers learning activities like for example we visited a place called as bangalore creative circus it's a place for sustainable energy using all junk computers or old gadgets they have built a very beautiful museum and a hotel and uh, we take people and children to that place and try to motivate them and inspire them and learn from this real sensory activities so real life experiences and realistic uh, visiting such places helps the children to understand things at first hand and this will help them to become inspired and motivated in many of these activities. We also have meditation in Chinmaya Balavihar. Meditation is very important for children. Children can gain a lot by learning meditation, trying to quieten the mind, the restless mind and trying to bring out the positive energy in very creative way is one of the techniques that we use in Chinmaya Balavihar. So I have been very proud and happy to speak so many things about my Balavihar. The whole message that I can convey is God has no time to make a nobody. The seed of greatness is sown in everybody. There was one Sanskrit teacher in my high school. I still remember him so well. He was the one who wrote this autograph for me and I can see that this is really working miracles for me in life. Simple living, high thinking, ready service and love for all is the real message that I got from my Pooja Gurudev Swami Chinmayananda and this is what is fueling a lot of energy and enthusiasm in me. I would want to pursue my life using Midna as a great tool and try to reach out to many more schools, many more children, and I want to achieve bigger things, not only for myself, but to contribute in a big way to the society at large and to the country at large. What I could realize is the more I learn, the more I realize how much I still have to learn. This is what I got a message when I was in TVS, when I, uh, when I was an intern there, I still remember one of the managers sharing me this message. The whole success does not happen in a overnight. Learning, doing things and improving. 
it is a plan do check act it's a pds pdc a cycle which requires constant uh, you know fine tuning and constant working and all the achievements that happened till now through sd 3.0 it did not happen overnight i had to do lot of pursue uh, pursuing things with lot of patience and perseverance and without the help and guidance of all the mentors and all the senior people in midna i would not have been able to achieve this i would simply like to say gratitude like intelligence is not fixed there is always room for growth so the more gratitude we express there is more room for growth this with this i would want to express my sincere thanks to dr ratnaswami sir vasanthi ma'am to suresh to madhu to bartika ma'am to priya chabra ma'am to tejveer ji anil kumar two anil kumars one from bangalore and one from chennai and of course how can i forget jayshri ma'am i have to name a few because there are so many names that i can name so i want to thank each one of you sorry if i missed out any of the names i'm very happy that i have been able to reach this milestone but i still have a long journey to go i'm very happy that i could complete my sd 3.0 today before i end this session i would invite maybe one or two people on board and share their quick experiences so thank you very much i would now request if kumar is there can you please come on board sir can you please uh, uh, help kumar to come on board and share his small feedback you can just say two or three sentences because we have just about 10 to 15 minutes kumar are you there kumar can you unmute and you can start speaking uh, tv app mode uh kumar is our uh, visually yeah am i audible yes you are audible you can come to a silent place and you can speak Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, good afternoon, all. Uh, I am Kumar. Currently working as a tele client executive in a source marketing agency. So, नन्ही के genetic brain profiling हरी सर मूल का आये तो. So actually, और uh, नन्हा एक्साम बरली बंद आक्चुअली कांपिटेटिव एक्साम तक परचय आगे सो अद ना जेनेटिक ब्रेन प्रोफैली बहुत अवेरने को सो अंडर यूज मत अद्रा आगो बेनिफिट सो टोटली कंप्ली अवेरने को नगे जेनेटिक ब्रेन प्रोफैली सो जी बी पी इंदा ना तुम यूज आगे सो लाइक नम स्किल टेट न गुर्चक लाइक अर्थमको अंड मेन नम ना ऐरिया इंप्रूव आगे फोकस मे सो जेनेटिक ब्रेन प्रोफैली अंबाने हेल्प आगे अंड फ्यूचर कूड़ा हेल्प आगते या जेनेटिक ब्रेन प्रोफैली अ सो इट्स अ वेरी गुड थिंग अंत या ना य नम ये फीलडे नर्चर आगे जेनेटिक ब्रेन प्रोफैली अट प्ले वैटर रोल अंत सो फल थैंक यू सो मच टू हरिश सर फॉर् मेकिंग मै जी जी बी पी अंड थैंक यू टू मिड कंपनी फॉर् गिविंग आपर्चुनिटी टू हरिश सर टू मेक् जे बी जी जेनेटिक ब्रेन प्रोफैली थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच कुमार थैंक यू सो मच So, Jishnu, if you are there on the, if you are there on the thing, can you come on mute on the line and can you start speaking, Jishnu or Rashmi ji? Yes, sir. 
So here is our little Jishnu, who is uh, the GBP I spoke about him. Yes, Jishnu, you can share your feedback. Okay, sir. Hari, Hari Om, sir. Thanks for giving me this opportunity to talk, Harish, sir. I remember Harish, sir, had came home last year to exp explain my ge genetic brain profile. And he said that I have an X factor. I have the ability to learn a lot of things. With this, I became very confident to achieve the India Book of Records. I always like to learn about geography and our culture. After Sir, sir told, I can concentrate on multiple things. My parents allowed, allowed me to learn many things online. Whenever I had online classes for Bhagavad Gita or any other things, after learning the shlokas, I Google and learn a lot of things. I also have started German learning on my own using Duolingo app. My mom has also started taking me to many places because I like trekking. I like to narrate stories do animations and and make interesting videos with my mom's help i have created many story videos which are available on youtube and recently we did a funny reel for my mom's office i am very thankful to harish sir for telling me what i am harion thank you thank you so much uh, jishnu i really appreciate your valuable feedback so over to anybody else, any other clients who have joined here on online, you can just uh, come on board and you can share. And uh, with this, I, I, I hand over uh, the board uh, back to Midna team. Hello. Yes, yes, Mridula ma'am, you can share your. Uh, recently, I come to know Harish sir through my friend and colleague in school. And um, as soon as I had a first talk with him, I come to know his capabilities and potential. And now I'm seeing it uh, very much evident also with his certificates and, you know, his way to go. And uh, already he's uh, giving so much to society, especially kids. I have seen his dedication, his full-fledged heart and soul into the program of uh, this kids program on Sunday every morning he's doing uh, and um, collectively he's giving so much to the kids that I'm very, very thankful and I bless him from the core of my heart and everything is so good about him. <laughs> That's all. Thank you very much, Mridula ma'am. I'm really happy that you have completed Spark in this batch of June. And uh, this is going to be a great journey for both uh, Adamya as well as uh, uh, Ushagra for you. I wish you all the good success in Midna family. Welcome to Midna and thank you for your valuable you, kind words. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Over to sir. Yeah. Thank you, Arish Raj. Everybody has a style. You have shown your uh, style of presentation. I think very inspiring. Before I say my concluding remarks, I would like to listen from the family members who would like to appreciate your presentation. And as usual, Tejirji, to start with, please. Uh, so, Namaskar, sir. Uh, Harishi, uh, I am thankful to you for one of the highest participations ever in our self-discoveries. This is the magic which you have created. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you so much, sir. Now, uh, there are two things which come to the mind. One is the light, other is music. Light never knows where all it is traveling. And music never knows itself that what all harmony it is creating. And the immense power, the strength which you, are, which you have shown with channelizing these little bubbles of energy is really impressive, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm great. And today, my wish and prayer, just listen it very carefully. My wish and prayer for you, may you never discover the magic of what all you are doing so that you continue doing. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your wishings, wishes and blessings. I'm really honored 
I'm really honored. Uh, I'm I'm humbled, sir. Thank you very much. All the best. Sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, Lachmi ji. Yeah, Namaskara, Hari sir. Namaste. And good afternoon to everyone here. And uh, sir, I would really like to tell that uh, your presentation has been absolutely exceptional, and the amount of detailing which you have done, you know, like your reports and all the details about you know the young reports the teenage reports it's just amazing sir and so much of work which has gone into it it's been a very truly an inspiring uh, presentation which you've given so wishing you all the best and uh, great learning from your presentations thank you so much thank you very much ma'am thank you so much thank you yes uh, priya ji yeah good evening everybody and uh, heartiest congratulations to you harish ji thank you ma'am i have always seen you moving around i mean you are always on a go always traveling most of the time whenever we have spoken you always tell me that i'm traveling i'm traveling so that's how i think you are in the true sense of the word transforming lives globally what we talk about in vidna global and uh, the um, how many lives you've touched if that's immense and it's not just that you have i mean uh, you are working on yourself as well as working on others so that's something really inspiring congratulations for your journey so far and best wishes for much more ahead thank you thank you so much ma'am you are definitely an inspiration for me so uh, i i am really very thankful for all your kind words thank you very much yeah we are sindhu yeah please go ahead so good afternoon sir uh, good afternoon harish sir it was a wonderful presentation i always believe that every children we meet is a divine appointment and happy to see that you have touched so many little ones life and uh, very contented also uh, that all the kids who took gbp and all those who are in the bala vihar are in the right hands guided well both spiritually and socially so i think you have reached uh, many geographies looking at all those uh, places you have covered you have reached many geographies wishing you well to make more histories so feeling thank very so privileged much. thank you and traveling blessed. along with you in medna family thank you so yeah. much sir thank for the wonderful much. presentation thank you i will go to mr naraj patel and then come to pratika please yes okay. mr naraj so you are on mute nagraj ji Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Uh, well, probably uh, our uh, friend, you know, Hari himself might be surprised. Uh, who is this guy? Okay, well, uh, you know, I know he know me very well. <laughs> I never knew that actually he's uh, he's doing all this, and that too. You know, at this uh, juncture, where we are, this whole world, this is very essential. This is really heart touching for me. and and then i'm wondering that okay how could he could achieve all this with his journey i'm really touched uh, mr harish I, i'm now i'm really feel that okay, you are a you are a no uh, next level next level i could say now the reason thank this, you so much thank you so much yeah uh, the reason why i'm saying you know we were all uh, uh, when we were youth we were friends we never knew that uh, you know we are going to know have this kind of you no know, journey but the way that you achieved seriously i'm i'm really heart touching now uh, i don't have no more words to say all the all the best i god bless you forever thank you so much thank you so much nagraj i'll definitely come back to you sure thank you thank you sir thank you mr thank you Yeah, I think now Bhartika can, and if anyone else is there, please face sir, it. Sir, can you stop screen sharing so that we can see the faces? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, congratulations, Harish ji. It was really a wonderful presentation. I really like the way you started, uh, like started with quantitative aspects. How much quantity you have done in this duration, and then you talked about the quality. that you have imparted or that you could take out from the kids and you could nurture them well this could be a good research material also like as you have all the data and you have segregated the data also 
so what kind of challenges these kids are facing and how you are helping them to overcome those challenges that could be a good research thing that we all can get benefit of so like you are doing so many good things this could be one of them so if you can do that will help me also and it was really a wonderful presentation and i was thinking that it will go beyond the time limit but you kept it there so that is also something very uh, good thank you so much uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to learn with you thank you so much thank you so much ma'am thank you very much yeah dr ratna i would like to add a word here yeah please uh, thank you harish for introducing me to midna and introducing me to dr ratna i think we both will be forever indebted to you for that um humility is the first word that comes to me when i uh, think of harish and when he came here very innocently asking me for my own uh, uh, fingerprints I, i think i gave it off so willingly that even he was startled but that is also because this was a journey that had to begin uh but what truly touched me today is i think the icing on the cake was uh, jishnu giving you a testimonial and he continuing to write in the uh, chat box that uh, so this is what uh, happens when we touch lives of very young ones who are not just impressionable but are also so candid with their uh, impressions and emotions they have absolutely no um and, and no barricade when it comes to giving appreciation i think that is what you have uh, tapped harish lots to learn from you and as bartika rightly said i am looking forward to having our bangalore sessions very soon where uh, we will actually together explore uh, all of the you know fact files that you have and get to learn a lot more definitely and, definitely and hoping to get dr ratna here as soon as we can yes yes because the bangalore team has to grow big yes ma'am yes. thank you thank so you much so thank you much. so much ma'am you are an you are an inspiration for me you're an inspiration thank you, thank thank you. you same here thank you thank you thank you doctor uh, thank you thank you jay sri yes uh, ravi ji and then pankaj good evening everybody i'm sorry i'm just uh, uh, traveling and uh, wonderful presentation and highly motivating ravi ji uh, at the very you know, i mean short period of time that uh, you could do your uh, self discovery 3 and it's a great motivation for uh, people to know sarda society especially your balavegar uh, the project and how you are motivating the children is amazing and uh, it is very evident that you are you know you are using this gpp as uh, one of the best tool now to give a very solid uh, uh, support to the parents and the students and uh, may your journey be very successful and i think you have found out your ikigai and uh, god is with you and midna family is with you for your success thank, thank you. you thank you so much ravi sir i'm really very happy to be associated with thank you thank you, thank you. yeah yes pankaj ji that's sure. it yes good evening everyone uh, congratulations harish ji for completing your st3 and uh, whenever you were just uh, sharing your balbihar activities so i could sense i could feel it that um it happens whenever you feel like you are just an instrument and just divine is doing something through you so just like a flute or you are just you know there as an instrument of divine so you are doing so well and with the grace of your guru with the blessings of your guru and uh, with this beautiful tool of midna may you touch more lives and may you help more lives more blessings more power to you thank, thank you. you so much ma'am i'm really uh, thank you very i'm very thankful to your kind words thank you thank you yeah anyone else sir may i sir yeah please uh, good afternoon sir good afternoon friends uh, harish ji it was a very nice wonderful presentation uh, Uh, i keep on um, reflecting on pooja gurudev's uh, two uh, teachings uh, all the time uh, keep smiling and be available i'm very happy that you are already on the track and uh, i am really uh, inspired by your determination to be available and uh, to bring in more smiles in the uh, people uh, please keep continuing all the very best thank you so much thank you so much ma'am thank you i'm really very happy for your uh, great words for me thank you 
Anyone else? Yeah, Rachana, please go ahead. I actually see Hari sir every Sunday. <laughs> On Zoom class, which my son goes. So oh. you know when he says I, I I I it's not it's more from as a parent my my son does not like online classes but he would remind me very very religiously oh we have the class today so you know his classes are so interesting he so he motivates the kids so much you know that I'm so glad that I met uh, you know Hari sir during our nest meet and uh, you know it, it's a great opportunity for my son to learn from him thank you sir and you know it's it's really wonderful your session was really very wonderful. Thank you, ma'am. You're you're a, a real great motivator. I I see a lot of energy in you, and I'm really very happy to connect to Monish and uh, many other children in the online. Thank you for your kind words. Yeah. Anyone else? Sir, if Jishnu is there, I would like to have a word with him. This yeah. little boy. <laughs> yes, yes. Jishnu is there. Jishnu and his mother is there. Rashmi ji is also there. Hariyom, sir. Yes, Hariyom, yes. Peter, and I'm really proud of you. You know, I have recently started reading Bhagavad Gita. First adhyay, I could do very well. You have got you have got prize for second adhyay, na? And I could not read beyond fourth or fifth shloka in fifth adhyay. So now you have given me inspiration. Like you could do it in nine minutes, and I have not even done in nine days. So I have to do it now. Right. So, thank you so much for giving me that inspiration. God bless you. Yes, yes, ma'am. I actually learned Bhagavad Gita in an online class, online class called Gita Parivar, which was okay. run by Malpani Institutions. Okay. And in that institution, they teach teach Bhagavad Gita properly with the Sanskrit grammar. Okay, now I got the reason. <laughs> I will also join. Thank you so much, Vita. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you, Mat. Thank, very, you. Thank you so much. Very nice that uh, right frontal has got a big <laughs> energy today. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's very very inspiring. I don't I don't have uh, words and uh, time to uh, you know add on more to the session. I think it is, it looks more like a buffet dinner, all ingredients found and everybody, uh, everybody had contributed towards the outcome of this session and I'm so happy. And uh, something I, I personally think uh, you are not meant for uh, your family. Okay. You are not meant for a domestic uh, utility. You are a person who are supposed to be uh, available for the global community. I think nature, with the help of your uh, Guru, uh, Gurudev, and uh, kind of uh, the environment that you are currently going through, I think uh, you have only one child biologically, but you have so many children uh, around the globe. So you are making a global family, and that actually truly uh, the core idea of uh, genetic brain profiling is to transform lives globally. So with your challenging learning, I am sure it is, it is going to be a great uh, achievement in the days to come. And uh, as Jayasri said, I also want to support you in developing Midna in and around uh, uh, you know, Karnataka, uh, Andhra Pradesh and all. I think your next will be to build a network and uh, you know have an office in Bangalore and then work on developing Midna in that part because in, in Tamil Nadu if we, we can have 40, 50 counselors, I think uh, in Karnataka also we should have similar numbers. So I think with the help of uh, the team already existing in Bangalore, this should not be a distant dream that should be easily happening. And I also believe that uh, once you have got addicted to being very nice and uh, helpful to others, I think uh, a lot of things happen on your on its own. And that's where uh, Tejvirji said a good number of audience there. Yes, I do agree that in the recent times, we did not have any self-discovery session beyond uh, 35. I think last meeting was 35. 
and you crossed even 40 i think uh, that is more due to your popularity your connectivity with your clients as well i think that's something i really thoroughly appreciate as your attitude and uh, you are a very hard working very punctual want to really put things in place i see a lot of good qualities and as an adult i think professionally lot more you will be able to achieve with this kind of uh, attitude and your skill sets that you have and um, just to uh, conclude i would like to say today i was watching one uh, video by uh, sadguru and he said one statement is very very powerful somebody asked him who is your influencer and the answer he finally said was don't look up to somebody that means you are underestimating yourself don't look down on somebody because you are overestimating yourself both of them are not good things to do you should look the way the life and people around which means parents should only look at the children as something they have come to this planet and let them do you are only a caretaker you are not a military officer as a father or you are not an investor as a father and you are not supposed to possess the child also you should just groom the child and when the child grows you should be able to let them go and fly whatever they are meant to i think uh, there is a big misunderstanding of parents role in the society i must appreciate the parents of jishnu for having uh, you know let the child to do something big in life and his brain profiling report has confirmed now now the parents have gotten evidence that the child is not going to do conventional things the child is going to do unconventional things okay and uh, that should not be seen as a disappointment or a surprise because planting a plant some plant is there watering the plant only is your job what has to come out of the plant will be decided by the seed and not by the person who is watering the plant you don't you may be watering it that's your responsibility you are taken but ultimately you have to just ensure that the child blooms the child exhibits the fullest potential i think genetic brain profiling will revolutionize the way the parenting is done and nature will not allow this uh, possessive controlling parents for a very long time now itself we see a lot of children rebel i think with genetic brain profiling a wise parent will let the child to do what according to his inner potential inner capabilities the child is capable of i think it will set free lot of children who are being controlled so we should have we should have the compassion to let the child go not have the control because that and we control we will produce another xerox copy of ours we will not be able to see something more than what we have done in this society and in this uh, world in our part so i once again thank that uh, genetic brain profiling is going to be a great torch light for the parents show some way the child will travel on their own so genetic brain profiling plus parent you become a guru for your child that's the concluding message i would like to say and i once again thank for your meticulous uh, preparation and presentation and before i forget i must say you are the first person in midna who has given self discovery th- uh, 3.0 after completing 120 scans and beyond that so to me and midna you are the sauro gangli who did not do well when he came first time to indian cricket <laughs> then he took a break he came back and he became the dada of cricket so i wish you also become a dada of uh, midna and uh, so much, sir. continue thank to inspire everyone uh, in the family as well so thank you very much thank, thank you, you so everyone much, sir. especially i thank the clients of uh, the beneficiaries rather that will be the right word the beneficiaries of uh, uh, the work done by uh, um haris uh, k raju i have uh, no words to you know say my humble gratitude and thanks to you it is very kind of you nice of you to come and stay here for an hour or plus and uh, continue to inspire such people who are really out 
uh, you know, wanting to be very, very useful to the society. Thank you once again. Let us meet on another self-discovery session. We will bring more and more inspiring, uh, uh, you know, uh, Medna Global experts. And from today, uh, he becomes an expert in genetic brain profiling. All the very best. Take care of you and see you on another.